Hey guys, it's ESPN 001 here. Welcome back for part 13 of the Path of Fear on Walker with commentary. Uh, after this video will be when I probably upgrade some of my abilities with the, like, the body snatch and stuff and all that. And some of my weapons and stuff so you just don't get to see anything. But, uh, anyway, we're gonna be doing a challenge and a mission in this video. Coming, dead now. Another fine day for an exclusive... I did. How would you like to fly a treacherous course while laying waste to the monkeys? You made these... Yes, well, I used to be a used clowning chamber salesman. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, so this, I believe, will be a checkpoint race, if I remember correctly. Unfortunately, for that matter. Yep, it's a checkpoint race. We have six minutes to complete this, if you can read it, I don't know if you can. We have six minutes to complete this and only 15 checkpoints. These saucer races, as I've said before, really are not that difficult. I'm just going to go on and hit uh, Y to cloak it up, at least to start out. And I'm not really sure what a flying saucer just flying through checkpoints, how that instantly raises the alert level to orange, or... Actually, no, that's red, that's... Yeah, that is orange, that's military level. Go through the checkpoint, Crypto. Oh, well, these races are always easy. There's no real difficulty within them. wonder if the helicopter wonders why I just got knocked off course a little bit. When did we get these? Huh? Okay, I guess when I was talking about movies in the last video, I didn't realize that we got this new weapon. The plasma cannons. I wish I realized that. It's sort of like a it's sort of like a minigun. You have to let it spool up, like so. You have to hold down the trigger for a moment before it starts firing. They're very fast, very powerful, and very very deadly. Easily the best saucer weapon in the game because they can take out both vehicles like helicopters here and buildings as well very easily. So where the heck was the checkpoint? Oh, oops. That's what I get for showing off my awesome new saucer weapon. Anyway. I almost said salsa weapon. Ugh, that's weird. Anyway. Yeah, very easy checkpoint race, so you shouldn't have anything to worry about here. Come on, those pussy little missiles can't do anything to me. Come on, try to hurt me, helicopters. Try to do something to me. Oh, I don't think I actually killed him, but either way. So obviously, I probably could have completed this in a bit faster than I did because I spent some time showing off the plasma cannons. You guys should be able to beat my time on this pretty easily. Probably you could do it in, probably in two minutes almost. Maybe not quite that fast, but you could probably do it a lot faster than I did. You know, I thought we got the plasma cannon on that mission, but for some reason, I guess it, I didn't, I didn't hear him say anything about it, because I didn't even see the directions come up for it, which is what's so weird about it. I'm used to seeing the directions up here. Hey, Pox disappeared. Okay, I was about to say, did he disappear there? So now we have five of, no, actually seven, six of the saucer weapons. Ground weapons. Blah. So we're not missing too many. Yeah, Sunnywood gives you by far the most weapons in the game. We're only missing two more. We'll get one of each of those in the next two areas. Saucer, we now have three weapons, as you can see. The other two we will not be getting for a little while. Actually, we get one of each of those in the last, next two areas, if I remember correctly. Let's go on and transmog up for some ammo. Oh, okay, he's destroyed already. So that was the only other challenge in this area. And let's go on ahead to the next mission. I don't have a landing zone up here, do I? I guess I do not. So let's drop off at this landing zone then. So we only have two more missions, I believe. Yeah, I think we only have two more missions and uh, yeah, we just have two more missions and two more odd jobs here. So Sunnywood's a pretty short area when you think about it. It's shorter than Lost Paradiso, I think. Because Paradiso was 10 parts and this is only the third part of Sunnywood and we're already almost done. We should be able to get through this mission in this video. I love how the people just run each other over in this game. It's like Fahrenheit 451, which, by the way, was actually a very, very good book. I had to read it for school. It was the only book all year that I actually enjoyed. I had to read it for English. 
<laughs> but that there's no value of a human life. They just run people over. Believe the key to our success is utilizing the power of Earth's natural ley lines. Ley what? Ley lines, invisible rivers of mystical energy. If we build where they cross, we can use their power to erupt only. So you want me? Blowing up their buildings isn't enough. We need the bill. But we'll need it done before the Federal Reserve's new interest rate hike kicks in. Because a billion bucks won't buy a hill of beans after that. The, the billion dollars. Alright, this should be fun and easy. It's called Feezy. Even though that really doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So, you need to cause a billion dollars worth of damage to the city. Not difficult at all. You have four minutes to do it. I'm gonna go all Irwin Allen disaster movie on this now. We've already got 84 million, is that? Yeah, that's already 84 million dollars in like the first... I don't know how long. And you can actually fire while you're transmogrifying, which really doesn't make any sense. It's kind of cool, though. I don't know, I wouldn't call it a glitch or anything, but it's sort of a cool little thing that you can do. <laughs> Coward indoors, okay. We're gonna need to drain there, though, unfortunately. destroyed helicopter already, please. I need health and I need ammo. I got it! I can bombard the airways with an electromyographic scatterburst, but I will need a substantial amount of highly additive asylum soil emissions from planet humans. If I remember correctly, this will allow us to get more time. This is why this mission is so easy. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's why this mission is so easy, is because you can mass abduct humans. So as you can see, we're already back up to over three minutes of time just from abducting humans. That's what makes this mission so easy. I completely forgot about it. So it takes more than the part than the time they give you initially, of course, but uh... Oh crap, I slammed into a building there. I should have probably upgraded this between videos, so I didn't even think about it because I, for I completely forgot about this mission. Fox, remember that time we disintegrated Carbo 6? When it was all over, we didn't find one of them. Not one stinking brain stem. The smell, you know, smell like sausage. All right, $564 million of damage. With over three minutes left on the timer, we should be just fine. Whoa. That was cool. Not sure why that got its own special cutscene. I have no idea why that got its own special cutscene. Maybe it was worth more money than a normal building or something. I don't know. It got its own special cutscene nonetheless. Reports that a squad of Soviet jets may be responsible for the destruction of dozens of high-value local structures. Apparently, the peaceful age of the hunt is over, and World War III has finally begun. Media over... I don't know what that would be called, just media over exaggeration. Because I don't think this is World War III at all. I think this has been going on since 1957. 
or whatever the first game, so play either 57 or 59. What the? Was there a point of that cutscene there? That was weird. Whoa, the timer disappeared. What the heck? Uh, did I find a glitch or something? I don't exactly know what just happened there. That was kind of weird. And the damage meter stopped going up for a moment. That was weird. We did it, though. That was honestly kind of weird, kind of glitchy. Lots of points. And of course, the saucer actually changes colors depending on what weapons you have, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, the last mission is right here. So, you know what, guys? You know what? Feel like doing an odd job. I think we got some time. I might make a little bit longer video as a treat today. I got 13 minutes left of time to record. So let's do an odd job today while we have the time. I think this one's going to require you to destroy a few news vans so that Veronica will have less competition or something. I think that's what this one is, if I remember correctly. I could have sworn one of them is. Yep, that's Veronica. I think that's what this mission's gonna be. So, let's do it. Do you have any idea how competitive hard-hitting invest... Like roller? Right. Well, it's even harder being a woman in this biz. I need you to... I get... All of them. They're all a bunch of misogynistic pigs, and they deserve... Is this one of those, uh, I scratch your back, you scratch my... <laughs> you mean, you scratch my butt? Well, you can... <laughs> Come by later in your saucer and pick me up. I'll show my favorite hero how they... <laughs> well, okay. He's actually having success flirting with this one, unlike with Natalia. Of course, because he had to clone Natalia to make her like him. Or screw him. Anyway... Uh, I probably could have just gotten to my saucer and done this, now that I think about it. That probably would have been faster. So, let's go on and take out this first van right up here. Hey, idiot, you're driving straight into a tree. Sit down here. Come on, Crypto. Don't have all day here, buddy. Man, we got through a lot of work in this video. We got through, what, a mission, a challenge, and an odd job. A lot of progress accomplished. Of course, they're all scattered around town to where you have to do a lot of movement in between them, but oh well. not really much to commentate about here. It's just flying and destroying news vans. It's not really that interesting. So we're going to be through Sunnywood in probably five videos in the end, so it's only half as long as Paradiso. Unfortunately, the next area is a little bit longer. The next area is much more annoying, actually. It's my least favorite area in the game. Great. Hello. Come on, just walk, drive right into a wall like an idiot that you are. And it's done, guys.
So that's it, guys. Next time, we shall do the last mission and maybe the last odd job if it's available. No, the last odd job is not available, so we will just do the, la the last mission next time. Actually, hold on a minute. It might be available. Yeah, it is. Okay, so next time we'll do the last odd job and last mission if we're lucky. So, see you guys then. And I'll do some upgrading and stuff off camera.